In Vietnam, the National Expanded Program on Immunization is responsible for delivering vaccines promptly, efficiently and safely. Like an enormous tree, Vietnam's vaccine supply chain branches into every corner of the country, reaching 90% of its children with safe and effective vaccines. The basic structure of Vietnam's vaccine supply and logistics systems was established more than 25 years ago. Vaccine delivery is challenging in many places because of remote location, mountainous terrain and extreme weather conditions. As more vaccines are becoming available worldwide, national-level logistics and supply teams like Vietnam's are considering how best to manage larger quantities of higher-value vaccines more efficiently than before. To help countries explore their options, Project Optimize has collaborated with five governments, including Vietnam, piloting innovative solutions for immunization logistics like super-efficient cold storage systems and new software to help manage immunization data. At the District Health Center in the hot southern province of Binh Che, the optimized project tested the Shua Chill solar refrigerator which uses the sun's energy to cool vaccine. Technical challenges encountered during use provided available lessons and will help the manufacturer improve the refrigerator for future users. Once a month, health workers set off on a journey to collect vaccines from the district and bring them back to the commune for immunization day. Optimize introduced nano Q coal boxes to enable commune level staff to store vaccines all month long without electricity, replacing the eyes about once a week. With nano Q, hepatitis B vaccine is available immediately when a baby is born, and the chances increase that she will receive the critical first dose in time to help prevent disease transmission. Immunization workers are not only responsible for keeping vaccines cold, they must also report information about vaccine stops and immunizations delivered. When kept on paper, this information tracking takes up a lot of time and space and is subject to delays and errors. Optimize developed VaxTrack software to collect this information in a central database managed by the National Expanded Program on Immunization. This software makes it quicker and easier for workers to report information and allows managers to track a vaccine in real time. Commune health workers are also responsible for tracking every child's vaccination record in an immunization registry. Without constant updating, this data can become inaccurate and children can miss immunizations as a result. Before this project, our Commune Health Center sent handwritten invitations to parents of children due for immunization. In January 2012, we were introduced to new software. It helped us update data online fully and accurately on a monthly basis, freeing us from sending handwritten invitations to parents. Instead, it automatically sends SMS messages to the mothers. Upon receiving the notice, they bring their kids to us for immunization as scheduled. Since I'm in charge of reporting, I used to count each and every vaccination in order to write reports every month. Now the new software has changed everything. My work has become much easier and faster. The optimized immunization registry software has demonstrated that web and mobile phone technologies can decrease the amount of time needed to track immunization data. Reports that used to take hours to prepare can quickly and easily be printed out from a computer. 
The software also sends a message to parents' mobile phones to remind them of upcoming immunization days. In the past, the Commune Health Clinic sent us a paper invitation every month, reminding us to bring our kids in for immunization. During a visit one day, they asked for our phone numbers. Since then, when an immunization is due, we receive a message reminding us to bring our kids to the Commune Health Clinic at 7 a.m. on the 25th day of the month for immunization. A tree, however big it grows to be, always starts from a small seed. The optimized project has planted several seeds in Vietnam in the form of technologies designed to help grow the immunization program of the future. While the interventions have only been piloted in three provinces, the lessons learned and experience gained will be applied to other provinces in Vietnam. Furthermore, as outlined in the objectives set between Vietnam and Optimize, the outcomes of this project can be shared with other countries dealing with similar challenges as Vietnam. As the sun sets on optimized activities, it is hoped that the government leaders within the Ministry of Health, as well as international organizations, will look upon the expansion of these technologies as a fruitful investment for the children of Vietnam who represent the future of the country.